Here's Steph Curry. Steph Curry, one of the people who was behind the free BG campaign, pretty much anywhere and everywhere he could talk about it, he talked about it. And I, I should, we should say this. The woke sports media and all these athletes who have been making so much noise about Brittany Griner for months and months and months, you are the reason that, they, that it took a Russian arms dealer to get her back. You're right. If you yep. hadn't been making all of this noise, if you hadn't been sitting there pretending like it was the most important thing in the world, the Russians wouldn't have realized that she had that much value. She didn't have Correct. as much value, but it's their fault. Yep. I, I, I've said that fucking months on this channel, and it turns out that's who we end up giving up. But Steph Curry did speak out about Brittany Griner at SI's Sports Person of the Year Awards. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. This is a, a very special night. Uh, but before we get the festivities started, uh, I thought it was especially important to acknowledge um, a very special um, a celebration and a very great outcome for Brittany Griner today. Um, we, we are glad that she's home. Um, we're glad that she's reunited with her family. Uh, it's a constant reminder of everybody continue to use their platforms to speak on issues that are meaningful and can move the needle. Uh, thank you to President Biden and his administration for uh, oh, fuck off. that fight. Um, but it's also a reminder that we all need to stay engaged in the fight to protect um, American citizens at home and abroad who are wrongfully detained. And we are going to continue to be engaged in that fight. So, uh wrongfully detained there's that yeah. word again uh you know it's funny because vice president harris has put people in jail for longer than britney griner for very similar crimes yep. she's um, been using them as slave labor yeah they probably did more work than britney did just to be real mm -hmm. bg we we love you we thank you uh for your sacrifice and what your uh content continued perseverance um and patience <laughs> to get through this process and hope you enjoy uh, reuniting with your family. We are always with you, BG. And thank y'all for being here tonight. Let's have a great night. Thank you. So what, what, what the fuck, cringe. man? What, what is Brittany Griner fucking Emmett Till now or something? What what not, the hell did she sacrifice? Not one mention of Paul Whelan. Not one mention of the Marine we left over there. Are the other Americans over there? Yep. But the you're right, John. Sacrifice. We thank Brittany Griner for her sacrifice. She didn't go to war and get captured or something. She got caught with fucking weed. Like, she that's what we're it. talking about. She admitted that she did it. This is not a, a sacrifice. She was getting punished for a crime that she admitted to committing in a foreign country. There is no sacrifice. Uh, these people, Steph Curry, one of them, are absolutely pathetic. They are the ones that made it this much of a headline. They are the ones that made us have to give up a Russian arms dealer. And... We just got to be real. Every single person that dies as a result of Victor Bout being freed by the United States of America, some of that blame has to go on the media. Some of that blame has to go on people like Steph Curry, right. LeBron James, Brittany Griner herself, and of course, Joe Biden.